Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry here with Wealth Dynamics. I hope you're doing fantastic as you're watching this today. My job is to help you create wealth, which means abundance in all areas of your life, which is the opposite of poverty. Poverty is scarcity in even just one area. Now, part of this is not just wealth, but also purpose and freedom. If you don't have purpose and you don't have freedom, wealth is gonna be dang near impossible. So what I wanna to talk to you about tonight though is how do you keep going when things aren't going your way? When you're pushing, you've got a plan, you're working hard, you're putting in the time, you're putting in the energy, but just things aren't happening the way they need to. For whatever reason, there's a struggle going on, for whatever reason, there's resistance, for whatever reason, there are obstacles. Now, here's what I believe. I believe it's never going to go your way. I don't think that anything is ever gonna align. There's no such thing as that. There will always be an obstacle. So it's really about how well are you able to maintain control? When things aren't going your way, how well are you able to maintain control? How well are you able to force your outcome even though the odds are stacked against you? Now here's the thing. This doesn't mean that you you grind and, and you get all serious and, and hardened and everything like, like you think. It actually means you have to have such a high degree of cert certainty that you really don't give a crap. Like it's not gonna bother you if things don't go your way. You're gonna find another way in anyways. Like that's that's what the abundance mindset really is. It's not about thinking positive. It's about, dude, if you close that door, I'm just gonna go find another one. Like if you, if you shut this one down, I'm just gonna get in another way. Therefore, I don't care if this one's not working because there will always be another one because I'm gonna create it. Now that's also not a statement of procrastination. I'm not saying, oh, there will always be another one. I'm okay. I don't need to hustle. I'm saying I will make a way. I'm going to make it happen no matter what. Even if it doesn't look like it's going to happen, I'm going to make it happen anyways. Okay, that's what I'm saying there. So here's what I do when things don't go my way. Number one, I remind myself of the outcome. No matter what, I'm going to create the outcome. Okay, so when things aren't going your way, don't focus on the problem. Don't focus on you know who's, who's involved and whose fault it is. Focus on the outcome. Objectively speaking, what is the outcome? Now look at the situation, analyze it so you get a good idea of what's involved and what's happening and how everything is moving. And I want you to look at logically speaking, again, logically speaking, what would have to happen for things to go my way with the situation how it is right now. Okay, don't think about I can't, don't think about it's so hard, don't think about feelings, think about logically speaking, what would have to happen. Like if it were to happen, how would it go? And then just do that, okay? Now you might have to be forceful. You might also have to be tactful. Like there's not a one way you go about this. So today, some stuff wasn't going my way and I took the forceful approach. I put my wall up. I said, nope, this is not happening. This is not how I operate. This is not how it's going down. I have other plans and I forced it through anyways. Now other times you might have to be more tactful where you take the momentum of that obstacle and you make it feel like it's winning, meaning you go with it, you go with the obstacle, and then you flip it. And that's gonna be more tactful, okay? But at the end of the day, you've gotta decide, I'm gonna make it happen. Okay, it doesn't mean that it's happening, it means I'm gonna make it happen. Now it doesn't mean that things are working out, it doesn't mean that everything's perfect, it doesn't mean that there's no obstacles, it means Regardless, I'm going to make it happen. Regardless, I'm going to achieve the goal. Regardless, I'm going to hit the target. There's not another outcome that I'm gonna to allow to happen. I'll either do it through finesse or I'll do it through force, but either way, it will happen. So guys, that's my thoughts on how to make things go the way you want them to go when they're not going your way. Biggest thing is, don't let up on your goals. And here's one last thing. When things are not going your way, don't listen to the reasonable people in your life. Don't listen to the people that wanna coddle you. Don't listen to the people that want to give you sympathy. Don't listen to the people that immediately pat you on the back and say, hey, try again next time. Those people actually have already quit on their own goals and they're trying to get you to join the club. That's why they're not telling you, hey, go fight. That's why they're not telling you, hey, stand up against this thing. Instead, they're saying, hey, it's all right, you can settle. Hey, it's okay, try again next time because that's what they've chosen. So make sure, you keenly are paying attention to who you're listening to in those times and in those moments. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that that was a helpful video for you tonight. If it was, I ask that you share it. If you've liked it, here's the deal now. If you've liked it, it takes the same amount of effort to like it as it does to share it. It's literally the button right next to it. Share this. Make sure people see it. Thank you again. Have a great night.